I've always been rather optimistic about human evolution. Us Homo sapiens have only been around 200,000 years, but the Earth is 4.5 billion years old. What will we be like in another 200,000 years? Evolution never stops. Most families are a choice made by two people. You are here because your parents selected each other and made you. Modern day evolutionary changes can clearly be seen in the world today. As an example, in the country of the Netherlands, its population before World War II were average height Europeans. Most were under two meters tall. Probably due to overcompensation in food supply and eating habits following the deprivation of World War II, Dutch people are now some of the tallest folk in the world and definitely have increased their average population height faster than any other country in recent history. All because of personal choice of tall partners. So we are evolving. But are we evolving into better humans? It's tempting to assume that we are on an ever upward intellectual path, but there is no guarantee of this. In fact, the human brain has become 5 to 10% smaller in the past 20,000 years. This is similar to the brain shrinking in domesticated animals over the same period. We seem to have lost bits of the brain our ancestors found vital for them to survive. The ancients were hunter-gatherers. They needed fast responses, impulsive behavior, and creative minds. Since we stopped chasing our dinner and started growing lunch, we sat around and watched the crops mature, making intellectual decisions about the world, about weather, and even putting men on the moon, and gave up chasing mammoths. <coughs> Today, the classic ADHD or hyperactive child is probably a kid that has inherited more of our early human special abilities. They are often impulsive, can't concentrate, spend their day making art and taking risks. Exactly not what a good farmer needs to be. Kids in school today are rewarded for sitting still and remembering facts. But the champions of the Stone Age sang songs, made art, carved weapons and were skillful warriors. In essence, the traits associated with ADHD make you a better hunter and a worse settler. Amazingly, your modern brain uses 20% of your body's energy. This is very expensive and probably makes sense of our modern high calorie diet. But you are changing. Cursive handwriting is becoming less practiced as we type our letters on computers. Chopping firewood is a thing of the past as we twiddle a thermostat to heat the house. Even growing food is getting less common as more of us buy chopped up ready meals in the supermarket. And we no longer make our own things but expect an Amazon delivery to our front door. And we are sitting down more, watching YouTube videos. Duh! But this modern activity might just be a hidden protection. The human body may be using to stop our brains consuming so much.
this is not my subject, and I really know very little about evolution, brains, or even lazy boy furniture. But it is fascinating to think about as I sit on my office chair and press buttons to make this film for you. Huh. Maybe the human race will evolve into sedentary slobs that spend their day in a reclining chair with a cup holder, a bowl of food in front of a TV or a computer screen. Or maybe the energy demands of the human brain will turn us back into the creative, impulsive folk we used to be. I don't know what's worse a population of ADHD maniacs or a population of couch potatoes. Any comments about the Earth being 6,000 years old? Forget it. The truth is out there.